Hi folks, I'm Dr. Don Wright, one of the instructors at Excelsior for Business 431 Business Analytics. I want to take a few minutes and walk you through, give you an overview of the first assignment. And one of the most important things is finding your way around Canvas so you can get where you need to go. When you click in Canvas and you get to your first assignment, the M1 Fast Technologies Part 1 Basic XX Skills Assignments, you will see a big orange button that says Start Assignment. Well, folks, that's not how we start assignments in this particular course. This button will take you to the place where you submit your Excel assignment once you have finished it. First, you need to find the instructions for actually doing it, don't you? So read this page, and you can see we've got a note here that says to complete the assignment follow the steps below and I'm going to scroll down here a bit you can see the first thing the instruction says watch this video that I'm making here so definitely watch the video to kind of get an overview again then you should read the module notes that's where your readings are your assigned readings for this module so you need those before you actually work the assignment. And then when you're ready to do the assignment, you click on this image where it says start here, click here, and that will take you to the detail instructions. I just wanted to point out to you though, if you go down here, there are some more instructions that talk about submission. And you can look at the grading rubric down here. Uh, if you want, you'll also have a copy of the grading rubric in your submission file. And speaking of that, you can download it here by clicking on the little download into the tray icon, or you can wait and download it once you get into the detailed assignments. Let's go there now. So I'm going to click here. So here we are at the assignment. The scenario is about, about a hypothetical company called Fast Technologies that do a lot of high-tech things around the world. So you can read that to get introduced to it. I want to scroll down and there's some more information. It's talking about your new boss, Connie Smith, and she wants you to do some things for her. Now I'm going to go over here and click in the table of contents to expand it. And that's a little bit easier way to navigate. There's a scenario that we just finished and we've got a nice check mark there. So I'm going to click on getting started. And we'll go down there and we can see here's where we can download that Excel workbook that you'll be working in for this module. There'll be a similar one for each of the other modules in the course. You can download it there and then you can start walking through the task. Now this particular assignment has some problems or they can be called lessons if you will. And each of those has a number of tasks that are numbered here. And the first one says to rename the Excel file worksheet Dataverse Gray to Data Version Gray. And we've got a video here that will show you how to do that. Well, what are we talking about? Let's look at the Excel file. This is the Excel file. Once you open it, the first tab, the first worksheet, I call them tabs because there's a little tab at the bottom, is the grading rubric. And that's got each of the graded task, the steps you need to follow. So you can kind of use this as a checklist. Your instructor will fill this out once you've submitted your assignment. But we go through here, we've got these worksheets named down here on these tabs. And we've got dealer satisfaction blue, employee data, and we've got customer survey yellow. They're named to help the folks that may be color uh, vision challenged here so that they can recognize what we want them to do. And you'll start out by renaming these tabs and reorganizing the tabs and changing the colors on some of the tabs. So the videos will walk you through that pretty straightforward. Let's go to the Employee Data tab. And this is one of the steps. I'll just show you this one step that you're going to have to do, one of the tasks. And the first thing you have to do is insert a column. We'll show you how to do that. Then we want to insert some rows on top here. I think we insert four rows. And then we guide you through labeling and color coding those new rows and columns. And you're going to go through here 
and classify each of these variables. Now, in data, a uh, data table like this, the columns are variables, and then the rows are observations. Here you can see we've got an observation for each employee, got their name, their ID number, their gender, their salary, the department they're in, and so on as you go across. And you will have to classify those as different types of variables in the measurement scale uh, that they use. One thing I might show you is some of the navigation things. Over here in the lower right-hand corner, there's a bar where you can expand and uh, zoom in, I should say, and zoom out. You can also go up to the View tab and there zoom in and out to specify to blow things up. If you want to find things on your data sheet, of course, you've got a scroll bar over here where you can scroll down uh, to see all the rest of things in the data. If you're trying to look at these worksheets, you can click on them and this arrow here will scroll you to the right. But if I right click there, I'll move it over here, you can see that all of the worksheets that are in this workbook are there. And you can go to any particular one just by clicking on the name and clicking OK. So that's a very useful tool because you'll have to find some worksheets, rearrange them, change the tab color. So let's look briefly at a couple of other things you'll have to do. On the commissions worksheet, you will have to use some functions and formulas called lookup, which will take a particular customer service rep here and look in this table for the commissions they get based on the number of customers that they served. On the Credit Decisions tab, you will develop some equations, some formulas for both the whether or not they extend credit to this particular customer based on criteria, and then if you do extend credit, yes or no, then you will flag that to say extend credit, do not extend credit. So pretty useful tools. I think you will find that all of the things you learned in this first assignment will prove to be useful as you expand your skills using Excel.